Things 3 now supports Markdown in the notes of to-dos or projects. That means you should be putting lots and lots of notes and reference materials inside Things 3 now, doesn't it? Well, no, it doesn't. Sometimes it makes sense to put your notes in Things 3, and sometimes it does not. So let's discuss what applies when. First, real quick, if you're new, my name is Peter Uckies. I teach people how to be more organized and more productive using apps such as Things 3. If you find this video useful, you'll really love my full course on Things 3 called Organize Your Life with Things 3, in which I will teach you an entire workflow for being more organized and more productive with lots more like this, okay? So you can find the link to that course in the description below the video. Now, let's go over Markdown support in Things 3. So here I am in my today view in Things 3. And what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna open up a project. And this happens to be the project that I have for doing this YouTube video for you guys, right? Um, and you'll see my project has a notes section here and it has some to-dos. And you'll see that in the project notes section, I have some notes that are formatted. Markdown is just a way to format your notes. And that's what's new in Things 3.14. It's a way to format your notes. So before, when you had a note, if you wanted to make something bold, you couldn't really do it. Now, let's say you want to make something bold. You put an asterisk on one side of it and an asterisk on the other side of it. Um, that's italics, I guess. And if you put two asterisks on each side, you'll find that it turns bold, okay? And so there's a bunch of things you can do. You can see that here, I created an outline for this particular video. Um, and you can do things like have headings inside notes now. So if you type, um, if you're on a new line, and you type a hash sign, and then you start typing, it'll look like a heading, which is fun. And you can do other things like have bullet lists. Um, you can have a block quote. So if you put a right, um, what do we call this? Bracket? Arrow? I don't know what we call this thing. Um, you can have a really funny quote from some famous person or something like that. And you can have multi-line block quotes. Um, so this is cool. You can do this inside a project's notes. So um, that's what I've done here. You can also do this inside of a to-do's notes. So I can start typing some fancy markdown here. And you'll notice that if you have a double colon on each side, um, it will highlight things. So this is pretty cool. But um, is it useful? We often find that things are cool, but are they useful, right? So um, it depends. Things 3 is a task manager, right? And so it's meant to manage your tasks. It's not meant to manage your notes. So what I've done here is I have some notes on how I want to record this video and make this video really useful for you all, and that's great. However, this is some, some text, some reference material that I will not need to refer back to after I finish this video. That's why it's a great option um, to put the, the notes right here in the project. I need these notes as I'm working on this video with you guys, right? But I will not need it afterwards. On the other hand, if you're working on a project where you're going to need um, your notes long after you complete the to-do. So let's say like I put this in here, right? Um, in record video, and then I click the checkbox. And now this um, task is checked off. It's completed, right? Where did it go? Well, it went to the logbook, right? So it is in the logbook, and I can find it here. However, um, this is not a super safe place to store material, okay? Things 3 is really not meant to be a long-term reference for text, right? It's handy to have some notes, but only put them in Things 3 if you actually want, <laughs> you know, or if you only really need your notes as you're completing your project or completing your task. If you need long-term storage of notes, if you want to refer back to them after a year or two years or 10 years or whatever, put them somewhere else because you may not be able to find the task in your logbook. Maybe you'll you know, start using a new device or whatever and you won't have your history in your logbook. Maybe there'll be like a database error. There could be all kinds of things. And either way, it's just very difficult to find things in your logbook. You cannot really organize them. You can do some rudimentary tagging, but Things 3 is not designed for long-term storage of notes. So what would I do instead, right? What I would do instead is, okay, here's, here's a project, you know, right now, this is the note, I only need it while I'm doing this, but let's say I'm working on something else 
and I have some notes that I want to keep for a long time, I'm going to use a notes app. And so, for example, I've got a podcast episode that I'll be recording in a couple days um, with someone called Steph Smith. I think it's going to be very fun to record. And so I always like to have some notes. Before I talk to someone, I have some notes, you know, some conversation topics, some conversation starters. Now, I could put those notes in the project notes here. However, these are the kinds of notes that I might like to refer back to. What if, you know, I talk to her, but then I don't talk to her for a while and maybe a year from now or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, what did I discuss with her? You know, what were the or what was that thing that I that I talked to her about? You know, I might want to refer back to those notes. So instead, I put them in a notes app. Now, the notes app that I use is Bear. So here I've got Bear. I've just got a podcast tag in Bear. I've got a note for this particular podcast episode, and I put my notes in there. Now, what can I do? I can actually right-click this and say copy link to note. Then I can go back to things three, and I can just paste that note in the notes um, field here. And then when I click it, it actually opens that note in Bear. So this is what I would recommend if you have some kind of notes that you're going to work with for a long time or that you might want to refer back to in the future. Again, it's fantastic that in Things 3, now you can format your notes a little bit. That could be very handy if you're going to use Things 3 in a meeting. You can have you know your meeting agenda in there. But might you want to refer back to your meeting agenda? If so, use the approach of putting your notes somewhere else. Okay, So only use this fancy new formatting, this markdown formatting that you've got in Things 3 for notes that you don't need to keep. A um, couple more points about Markdown. If you want to do this on iOS, what you do is you just double tap a word or a select, um, you know, a selection of words, and a menu will pop up. You just got to press the right arrow, and there's an AA the symbol. You'll see it. It's easy to find, and that's what lets you put the Markdown if you don't want to start typing things like asterisks or hashtags, whatever, manually on iOS or iPadOS. Um, you can also search inside notes. So if you want to search inside notes, there's a separate search um, feature for that. You just hit Command Shift F. I just did that, and you'll see there's this fine thing at the bottom. So if I start typing Markdown, you'll actually see that I can cycle through the mentions of Markdown in my note, which is handy. But again, don't let this new notes functionality fool you into trying to think that Things 3 is a good place for long-term note storage. It's not. It's only for short-term note storage. If you found this really, really useful, again, you're really going to love my Things 3 course called Organize Your Life with Things 3. The link to that is in the description below the video. Go check it out. I teach a whole workflow in that course. So I don't just go through the features, though we do do that, but it's really more about how to put everything together so you can be more organized and more productive. Go check it out. And in the meantime, have a great day.